Okay, so in the last video I left off with this one. Let's see, let me open up my desktop here. I left off with, we had the, okay, let's open there in a second. Uh, we're clicking and it was showing the X and Y value. Um, and it was just posting it in the, um, in the chat or in the, in the terminal in the chat. Let's see here. So it runs, let's just kind of test that out. Um, if you're watching from the previous video, it's probably not long ago, but just maybe refresh for me. So let's see, this is loading, 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 good. Okay, I'm gonna click, 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 click. And it should show all these values in here, X and Y values, that, great. Um, one thing we might wanna do is, we might wanna use this as like part of our text. So, cause it's kind of, you know, we're doing graphics, doing all the stuff. Why is our work appearing in the terminal? Like it'd be nice if it's appearing on the screen. So that's what I wanna do for this one. What I wanna do is, I am going to, whenever I click, I want it to appear maybe kind of right in the center and I'll do something like the coordinates. So like, you know, like parentheses, X comma Y, close parentheses. So let me do this. I'm gonna make a text object. So I can do text and I'm gonna say, well, maybe I wanna put this down here. Um, let's see, so text and I'm gonna put a, what are we gonna have, like a label or something? Um, let's do coordinates. coordinates because our name should always be kind of in line with what it's actually going to do. Now, here's the thing. I don't remember exactly what we're going to do for this one. I don't remember exactly the um, the constructor for this. How do we build it? What kind of things does it take in? So let me go to my uh, Java draw graphics and let's see what we have here. So docs, just again, like I don't memorize this stuff. Uh, you might be able to find something in quick start examples. I'm going to go to the full API just so we can kind of refresh doing that. And when you look down here, so text, okay, there's a lot of different ways. These are all the different ways you could build text. Uh, it looks like, okay, so this is the most basic version, and then we could add stuff with color, borders, all sorts of stuff. Typically, we'll probably just be doing something basic like this. This one's also pretty basic. You know, we're just putting in text, and then we're putting in a location. So that seems all pretty good here. Um, let's do this. So... I'm gonna try a couple different things. So we need to have so what was the screen? And let me just you know I will just copy this stuff. Alright, we have a double. Oh, here we are. Okay. Just gonna put this down here just for me for now. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be text, then we're gonna do double, double X, double Y. Uh, for right now I'm gonna say I want this in about the middle of the screen. So I know it's like eight hundred by uh, eight hundred by six hundred, so that's like four hundred by three hundred. There are fancier ways we could do that, um, but I want to kind of keep this one focused. So, and then we need to put some text in here. So, I want to, I'm trying to think how I could do this. I wonder if I could just directly, like, make a string in here. But I think it's probably better, like, you know, I could do, like, okay, I'm going to do this open parentheses, and then plus, uh, we want to do that location.x plus, I don't know, I'm going to try this and see if this works. I, I was actually going to do it a different way, but let's test this out and see what happens. Uh, I don't I wasn't planning on this working. Let's see. Uh, okay, so this thing is not used. Don't worry about that because we're displaying something. We're not like messing with it or using it later in our code. So it's giving us a bit of a, a warning, but it's okay. We just want something to show up on the screen. Uh, so whenever we click, we should get this. Let's see how this works. And let me just close this up. Make sure we have a fresh thing here. And let's run this. Okay, looks like it's loading. Let's click, click. Hey. Okay. okay, so we might run into this. Might be end up being a longer video. Okay, so we are still printing out the X. So what the good news is, let's maybe try and run that again and see what's happening. It seemed like it wasn't working right away. So let's see what's happening here. Let's so click once. Oh, we got the three thirty minutes. So actually, that actually did work pretty well. Just first test thing like this actually worked pretty well i could build a string right in there i think i would probably do something like this like i'd make string called uh i don't know location is not a good word for it. let's say loc or uh, i don't know output i guess is fine because like i would rather build the string and then like use that in here so i'd say something like let me copy all this looks like i could just build it directly in here but eh. uh so we're gonna do that we don't want to do just that we want to do like a comma Let's see, we want to do location plus comma plus location for y. And then we'll close that. We'll 
close that. Uh, do we have anything? Oh, no. We had one more thing here. because This is the close of our parentheses. And okay. So that looks pretty good. We're using our output in here. I think that's good, right? We're going to... Yeah, okay. So let's take a look here. I think this is good. Make sure I close this. Even I am really bad at doing that. I'm bad at it. I'm sure other people are making the same mistake. Got to close that before we run a new program. Okay, click it once, that, and it shows up there. Good. Um, we could do something like There's a bunch of other stuff that we could do here. Um, so maybe like an extension here could be click. Like right now, it's always clicking and showing up in the middle of the screen because I said 400, 300. Uh, could you do this so it's going to show up like wherever I click? Like if I click here, maybe there'd be like a little box underneath with some text saying, you know, the location that you clicked at. Um, we could even do like... Maybe do like put a circle there. You know, as we click, it's going to put a little circle there, and then it's going to put the text underneath of like what that location is. Um, that's something to try out. Uh, other things, I think I might make another video following up on this to kind of answer what's going on here. Okay, so that'll be an advanced video. I'm going to do that right now, and I'll just kind of make it as an extension to this.